Hey there folks, it's Javier here, uh, doing a video from an undisclosed location, uh, Javier Blog 208. So I just wanted to uh, give some thoughts out about, you know, the aftermath of the presidential election. I know I've been talking about this quite a bit, but um, there's just some things that I just wanted to, uh, just to give some, just some extra thoughts out. And I'm not, I don't want to make this too long, to be honest, because like I know that um, attention span has to be pretty short. So, I just, I was doing some digging, and I found a letter from, from President Trump um, after the economic impact payment of $1,200 arrived, um, which, by the way, I got uh, back in, like, March or April or something like that. And it was just, you know, I just, you know, looked at this letter, and it was, it was kind of touching. Um, because, like, you know, at the same time, you know, I think that with, on a lot of things, even though I, I, like I said, I voted for Joe Biden, um, on a lot of things, President Trump's, you know, his heart was in the right place on a lot of things. Uh, so here's what Boyer said. My fellow American, our great country is experiencing an unprecedented public health and economic challenges as a result of a global coronavirus pandemic. Our top priority is your health and safety. As we wage total war against this invisible enemy, we are also working around the clock to protect hardworking Americans like you and like you from the consequences of this economic shutdown. We are fully committed to ensuring that you and your family have the support you need uh, to get through this time. Get you through this time. On March 7, 27, 2020, Congress passed an overwhelming bipartisan support. The, corona, uh, the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Securities Act, CARES Act, which I proudly signed into law. I want to thank the United States House of Representatives and the U.S. Senate for working so quickly with my administration to fast track this $2.2 trillion in much needed economic relief to the American people. This includes the fast and direct economic assistance to you. I'm pleased to notify you that by the CARES Act that you are receiving this economic payment of $1,200 by direct deposit. We hope this payment provides every, every meaningful support to you during this time period. Every citizen should take tremendous pride in the selfishness, courage, and compassion of, of our people. America's uh, drive determination and motivation, shield willpower, uh, have conquered every previous challenge and they will conquer this one too. Just as we have before, America will triumph again and again with new heights of greatness. We will do it together as one nation stronger than before. President Donald Trump. Um, so uh, just some extra thoughts here. Um, there was a, there were many times in his administration where, you know, I just want to try to speak as, you know, I'm trying not, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm trying to avoid, you know, speaking ill of this guy, uh, of the president, um, between now and, and January, because I know that he's only got a short time left. And you know, as an old saying goes, you don't know what you have until you lose it. So part of me, you know, I'm happy that, you know, Biden's going to get in. I'm happy that I think that Biden's going to do a great job as president. I think that, you know, it was a long time coming and it's, it's going to, it's well deserved. He's going to, I, I think I have a lot of positive thoughts about Joe Biden. You know, I am a little bit sad too at the same time because, you know, I knew that President Trump, you know, had a sincere caring for the American people in a lot of ways. And, you know, I just want to, you know, I wish him well. I, I'm not the kind of person that's going to bash him or anything like, right? I just, you know, I wish him well, you know, in the, at the end of all this, you know, wherever he's going to go next, you know, after January, after January 20th, when he, when he leaves the White House. Um, and I just, I wish him well. And, you know, he also, you know, I pray for, I want to say I'm praying for him. You know, I want to pray for him. Um, and whatever he's going next, and, you know, for his salvation and for everything that, you know, whatever his next journey in life is, you know, I also am going to pray for, you know, incoming President Biden, too. Um, and I hope that Biden is going to, you know, live up to that expectation, you know, that, you know, he's going to be a bipartisan leader, that he's going to work with Republicans and Democrats, that he's going to 
you know, lead and be a president for all Americans, a president that we haven't had in a while, to be honest, a president that's actually going to be a leader and someone who's going to be, you know, a great president, who's going to, uh, who's going to be a good president and a great leader, who's going to stand for all Americans. Um, Republican or Democrat that's going to work across the aisle, that's going to look to God and, you know, I just, I have a lot of hope for Joe Biden, you know, honestly. I pray for him. I really do. I pray that he's going to do a good job in office, and and I want him to be a. I want him. I want to look back positively on his on his four years. Um, they have not started yet, obviously, but I want to look back positively on his four years. And same with Donald Trump. I want to look back positively on his past four years. I'm not obviously, you know. There's the reasons, you know. It's like. There's just so much that I, I couldn't I couldn't take about you know his his presidency. I just saw how people were being emboldened, how you know how he just you know was hate mongering at his rally and you know emboldening people, changing their character, making them angry, making people hateful, you know pretty much turning this all into a cult, uh, pretty much you know turning Christianity into a right wing cult, pretty much. And one of that's one of the biggest things. I just saw so much. You know, all the conspiracy flinging and hate mongering and fear mongering and all the, you know, demonization of opponents, demonizing Democrats, you know, embracing Obama conspiracies, all that stuff. Um, and it's just, that's just not a way to play in politics. You have to be with, play with civility. And that's one thing that he lacked. That's one thing that, you know, not just Donald Trump, but just all the Republican Party in general. They just, they all lack that. Um, it was just, it's just been so, I just thought the Republican Party has moved way, way, way far to the right wing, way far to the right. And they want to claim that the Democrats are like, you know, all these liberals and socialists. No, the Democrats are technically, they're, they're more centrist than the Republicans are, in my opinion. Um, but again, I don't, I don't hate Donald Trump, and I, I never did. I just want to, I wish him well, wherever he's going next. And, you know, I, I pray for him. Um, I'm always going to look back at, you know, positive aspects of his presidency, and I just I wish him well. I've seen him come out of, like, you know, rallies and it just look so exhausted. You know, how being a president is such a big burden. I've seen, you know, the way Nancy Pelosi has, you know, treated him, and I didn't, I don't really, i just seen just a lot of things, but, you know, it's just so much, just so many reasons, you know, came from it, and I just, Pray for and wish Biden well, and I wish Donald Trump well too. Um, and yes, I, I have been feeling, you know, sadness, but you know, again, I, I just, you know, I, I pray for them both at this point. I wish them both well, and I wish Biden well in, in his next four years in office. I think I've said enough, um, but these are just some thoughts. Thanks for watching, folks. Have your blog tool away tuning out.